With me now is Mina Newman. She's executive chef at Layla Restaurant down in Tribeca, one of the hottest and most innovative places in town. And you're here now to teach us how to get a little posy power into our cooking. I sure am. Today we're going to make a lobster salad with a rose water vinaigrette. I have here marinated chalice that are already in the rose water. Okay. In this bowl are already the vinegars, champagne vinegar and white wine vinegar. Now rose water, why do you use it? Why do I use it? Because it's indigenous to uh, Moroccan cooking. Okay. The Moroccans use it for hospitality. They'll spray it on you when you walk into their houses. It's all over their dinner tables. It's everywhere. They use it in baths. They use it everywhere. They feel that it's very magical. Okay. Okay, so they use quite a bit of it in cooking. Okay, so we're... Pour that all in. Go right ahead. And this is shallots and rose water. Yes, shallots and rose water. Okay. Marinate them overnight. With that, and I'll... Whip in. And you have to slowly add the oil, so that way we emulsify it. Okay. And this is olive oil? This is grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil. So that way we don't take away any kind of flavor from the rose water. Okay. Okay. It's important not to cook hot with rose water because um, you take away the flavor of it. It's something that needs to be added at the last minute in order to keep. That's good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously know my cooking skills. <laughs> Now this is actually the base. This is the yes. lettuces. These are the lettuces. They're actually microgreens. They're red mustard greens and baby arugula and flower petals. These are edible daisies, okay? And I have rose petals in here. These rose petals have been organically grown. For me, I have a specific buyer that I buy from that he buys, gets me these roses and I'm positive that he's selling me organic roses. At, you can't just go to a, no. a corner florist and buy flowers and eat them. That is really important to yes. know. They are poisonous. And um, if you don't know who you're buying them from. Okay, okay. so we want organic so don't, grown. Don't just buy them from your, okay. from the florist. So this is our base. Yeah, this is our base. We're going to add the already done vinaigrette it's good. to the salad. Okay. Okay. We're going to toss it all in there, put it on our plate, add the lobster. Okay. Add a lobster. We like lobster. Yeah. And, and this is just boiled lobster? No, just boiled lobster and white wine. Yep. Okay. Taking it out. A little big lobster claw. Wow. Lobster tail right on top, and some a couple more flowers. Look just at those. Are those pansies? Work. Yes, these are pansies. Pansies come in so many different beautiful colors, especially in the in the springtime. Okay. okay. And this, this is the dressing. And this is the dressing. Yes. We're just gonna pour a little of that dressing. I'm gonna let you do it because okay. I will drench it. <laughs> right over. You just want to go lightly because rose water could be overpowering to such a delicate. Does it fish actually like taste lobster. like roses? Yes, it does. Okay. okay, and this particular brand, the Lebanese brand, is actually pretty sweet, so you don't have to worry about it. And that is served at Layla, that, as uh, is another of my favorite dishes. These are chocolate <laughs> truffles made with rose water again. Yes, they are. Okay. And this is the end result, but we're going to show you how to make them. What you do is you just boil cream with a cup, some cardamom pods, cinnamon sticks, and at the end, after you've let it steep, you add your rose water. Again, not try not to heat the rose water so that way you don't dissipate the flavor. Right. Okay? And you let that sit overnight and then you get this beautiful ganache. And what you do is just scoop it out, roll it between your hands, and put it into the... There you go. We fall it into the bowl. You know you're getting good in yep. those restaurants. I got it. I pour got it. Pour it right into the... There you go. sugar. Yep. Okay. Roll and it no around there. Okay. Throw it on the pile. I was going to say pop it in your mouth. Oh, I will, I will. <laughs> you don't, don't mind if I do. And do these, will these actually have a flowery taste to them? These balls? The yeah. Truffles? Will you no. taste the rose? Oh, you will taste the rose water, but they won't have like a perfumey taste like your grandmother or anything like that. No. Nothing like that. That is just heavenly. It should that be all in one bite. <laughs> are you not Excellent. supposed to do that? How impressive. <laughs> Now, when you are cooking with roses, you want to go with a small rose. Yes, you want to go with a small. Small is usually sweeter. And on the outside, as you get this one, okay. and as you get closer to the inside, it's bitter. So you want to kind of stay more on the outer leaves. Okay. The different colors don't necessarily mean different flavors. They're just different colors. You know, okay. we all come in different shapes and sizes, as does Mother Nature okay. with different colors of okay. flowers. So even if they are a yellow rose, pink rose, they all taste the same. Exactly. As long as they are organic and they're edible, and you make sure that they are edible, because not all the species are edible. Right, that is the key. That point is here. very important. Mina Newman, thank you so much. We're going to go to Layla, and if you are interested in these recipes, check out our website, www.sevenonline.com. Thank you.